Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see another interrecord functions above and below. Let's see the syntax from the click help file. This is the syntax of above function. Above function will evaluate an expression at a row level and it will look into the data above the current row and within the column segment. It will also depends on the offset and it will give you the result by row level. You can use above function in chart in table. When you get the result of above function, it is always dual. So we will discuss about the parameters of above function. First of all, the first one is the expr expression. So the first parameter could be a field or could be an expression. The second parameter is offset means it will tell the above function how many rows above the function should look into the data. So if you mention one, then it will look into the one row above. If you mention two, then it will be two rows. Negative value means it will look below the row. Minus one means one row below the current row. Minus two means two row below the current row. Negative offset make above function equal to below function with positive offset. And same is with below function. When you use the negative offset in below function, it will make same as above function with positive offset. The third parameter is a count, which we are not going to discuss here. We can have a great use of count when we'll use above function with the range function. I will make another video on the topic where we can have great result by merging above, below and range functions. We can also use the total qualifier here. So let's see practical example. This is the data I'm going to use for this ABO for this video. We have sales data by date for country, category and brand. And the data is for 2022 from 2nd of January to end of June. I have loaded this data in a click application and I also created a master calendar based on order date. And at the front end, there is one table with only one field country. Please note down that above and below function are working similar. The only difference is above is looking above the current row while below is looking below the current row. So I will give you a few examples on below and then you can do the practice on your own. So when we will mention here above country, then this is the result we are getting. For Canada, one row above is this and and the first parameter is country. So for this line, we need one row up country. So for Canada and this line, we have previous row is Australia. The same way for India, it is Canada. For UK, it is India and for USA, it is UK. Please note down that above and below functions also consider the the sorting order. So if we sort this data by country alphabetically descending order, then we will get result something like this. The first row will always give you result as null because there is no row above this row. Means no row above the first row. By default, the offset is 1. So even though if I will mention here one or not, we are still going to get the same result. But as soon as I will mention here two, instead of one, when I will mention two, the current row will look two rows up and it will give you the result. So for Australia, definitely we are going to get result as null because it is the first row and there is no row above that row. But for Canada, we are getting null here because the expression is above country 2 means 2 is the offset. So it will look into two rows of which country is there. So two rows of we don't have any country because Canada itself is on the second row. But for India two rows of is Australia and for UK it is Canada and so on. If I will use below function here then we will get the same result but now instead of looking the above row, this function will look row below the current row. So for Australia, it will be Canada. For Canada, it will be India and so on. 
for above we are getting null for the very first row but for below we are getting null for the very last row because we don't have any further row below USA. So below and above work similarly. So now on I will only show you data based on above and you can practice on your own using the below function. So now if I will use here negative minus 1 then it will work same as below function. So above country negative minus 1 equal to below country. So if I will use zero here below country so so above country minus 1 means above country with negative offset will give you same result as below country. So now let's look into above function with expression. So if I will say sum of sales here I am getting this result but as soon as I will use above sum of sales so what this expression will do for Canada it will look into sum of sales of the previous row so it will give you similar result like the previous example where we have used first parameter as dimension but here the first parameter is your expression so we are getting result of sum of sales for this line Canada so for Canada we are getting sum of sales of Australia for India we are getting sum of sales of Canada and so on so instead of Canada if I will say month here here and if you want to compare current month sales with the previous month sales then you can do something like this sum of sales is your current month sales and above sum of sales is your previous month sales so I can do something like this I can say sum of sales this will give me current month sales and above sum of sales which this will give me previous month sales so I can use this function and I can get difference of current month sales versus the previous month sales. It, this will tell you that current month sales is greater than or less than compared to the previous month sales. Let's go back to the country here. I will remove everything here. I will only keep sum of sales and above sum of sales and I will add here country. And now I will add here brand. So how this result is working? So, so how here we are getting 256 here 1511973 but here as soon as the country is changing we are not getting 117 here. Why? We should get 117 here. So the way above function is working is if the table has multiple vertical dimension then the current column segment will include only rows with the same value as the current row in all dimension columns. So when you have multiple dimension it will consider the combination of both the dimension but it is always working based on the first dimension. So if I will do something like this here I will say copy of this one and now I will make brand as my first dimension and I will sort this one by brand then you can see that as soon as the brand is changing you will get null for the very first row. So this expression with multiple dimension is working based on the first dimension. The similar way below function is working so hope you understand how above and below function is working. In the next video we will consider range function and in a third video we will consider merging range functions and above and below function. Till then thanks and have a good day.